will come into the front court. Dishing to Humphreys again, and he likes that spot, but this one goes a little short off the front iron. Good rebound, though, for Mitch Brewey, and he puts it right back up and in. So the freshman, very impressive here in the early going here early on. Now, Julian Mason, a good drive. He pulls up for the short eight-footer and makes it look easy. And however, Skyline's starting to show some signs of getting back into this game. They've trailed pretty much the entire way, but a nice pass that time by Connor Gasek as Nayeko steps into the front court looks to penetrate, and he does with a beautiful jump step and pretty layup with the left hand. Not penetrating, but he kicks it out to Mason. Now on the cut, they turn it over, and here comes Austin Wiege the other way. He'll pull it back out, and now finds Hudson once again, driving baseline, and he gets it to go. Very Michael good. Ford not really a shooter out there, but good ball handler looking to pass, but he turns it over there as Nyeko read his mind. All the way to Nyeko! flying in with the left-handed throwdown and dropping Michael Ford to the ground. And it's gonna be a three-point play opportunity. And there you see just how electric Patrick Naeko can be in the open court. And doing it with authority, he is a right-handed shooter and he took that one with his left hand, throwing it down. And so once again, Naeko showing you why he is one of the best talents in the Metro Conference. He Still working that ball around the perimeter. Now they get it down low to the block. John Humphreys with good position and he scores. That's the risk you take with that trap. You got three players trapping one guy. If you come up with a turnover, great, but a smart player like Humphreys is gonna recognize it. And what a throw. And it is missed, so Skyline will get a shot here. Clock ticking down, Michael Ford races into the front court looking for Gasek. Gasek trapped, has to heave it up. The desperation heave, no good. And the Seattle Prep Panthers Hang on for victory here. Just rolls off the rim. Now Amina Williams out in transition. Gets it to Yasmin Lemon. Nice move. I'm sorry, that's Yaz Fuller. And Yaz Fuller showing you why she's one of the more highly touted players here in Western Washington. With that shot comes off, but a nice dish that time inside. Dana Talley trying to apply the defensive pressure on Yaz Fuller. An impressive crossover dribble in the pull inside. up. Amina Williams pushing it up the court the other way. She'll take it all the way. Back iron no good, but she gets her own rebound and puts it home. And now the Lancers, top of the key, number 34. She swings it over. Nice drive with the left hand and getting that basket to go was number 20. And right now within striking range, good position this time for Smith. Again finding Aaron Nickel cutting down the lane and she puts in another. Williams once again. And now a steal in the backcourt by Deidre Brown. And the easy lay in going coast to coast. Dominique Menonzone, a good job in the front court. She finds Alexa Smith who goes into that move. Nice shot, basket, and the foul. Even shots that she doesn't appear to have any chance at. And now a three-point basket. After trailing at 37-25, it's now a two-point game. And throwing up a wild shot in the lane, though, is Yaz Fuller, and she gets that one. Control, and now the other way in transition is Deidre Brown, and she goes coast to coast for the lay-in. Mendezona gets it over to Flommer. Nice cut there by Blair Brady down the lane. Pretty play at the three-point line, and now Aaron Nickel knows they need to get points in. In a hurry, nice pass inside, though, and a good cut by Brooke Miller. Saved out, Dana Talley controls it with 43 on the clock. Gets it over to Aaron Nickel, who will just penetrate and get the, the handle. Aaron Nickel again will come up with it and get the left-handed layup. Time is running out, though, one and zero. The Kennedy Lancers have claimed the championship of the BCC Christmas Classic. By and this time the shot missed in the lane, but Basio gets his own rebound, goes right back up uncontested, and Basio scores another hoop for Capital. Drew Reed that time, but he gets it away. Henley with the free throw line jumper, he drains it for his second bucket of the game. And now North Thurston takes the lead. That is sometimes you're gonna end up with a turnover. New Yen comes up in the lane with the open shot, and he gets the shooter's roll with a second left. The three-quarter court heave, no good. The arc, and they look and to post up Kalman inside. The big man at 6'8 inside, but instead it's Drew Reed pulling up and scoring for the first Drew, time tonight. It's been a good year for Capital Sports all around. That time, Spencer Urena gets it inside to Taylor Ross, and Ross able to get it up and in. Lord Thurston now inside. That's Ross with the move, and he gets another shot Fair to advantage. go. So... Right now there are two seconds, one to go, and the three-pointer 
is good by Reed Wall at the buzzer here in the third. So Capital completes the comeback. Now into the game, the freshman Moton, who gave him a big lift in the first half, now gets the pass over to Nielsen, wide open again for three, and he buries another one. Looking to tie this game up on this possession. But a bad pass that time, stolen by Reed Wall. Reed Wall out in the open, takes it. Coast to coast Comes and the rebound. Lane. Henley with the basketball now, looking to shoot, but he passes it over to Drew Reed, who penetrates and the floater is up and good. And that ties the basketball game, and North Thurston does they get to an overtime period. Henley cut off, and Drew Reed will take the shot from three and knock it down from one. Gets it over to Riley Wall, Bossio left open for three, and he knocks it down. Big and now North Thurston with the basketball. Henley, nice spin move in the paint. Into the court, but it was intercepted. Now Andre Winston Jr. open for three, and he drops it down for Lakes. A pair of triples to start off the game. After the two quick three-pointers, now Martinez wants another three from the corner, and he gets it from the other side. Ton Stevens with the basketball. Looking to drive to the basket, he does. Nice move, and he draws the foul. Look at number 14, who cross-court passes it over to Rasan Stevens. No good, but a nice follow that time. But Park will look to run the other way. Rasan Stevens now, but there's a steal by Andre Winston Jr., who throws it down with the right hand. Isaac looking to drive. He does just that. Gets inside. No good, but there's Darius Waters. The cleanup man inside. He is so good on the offensive glass. Come up with constant steals. Now Alex Davis, nice move baseline, and he lays it up and in. Nice move on the little hesitation. It's just a matter of getting the block. It's also, oh, as I'll get back to that in a minute, but Tana Pritchard the other way, able to get an acrobatic layup. Clover Park oh. with a shot to take the lead. Pat Ling in the lane, and he does get it to go. You haven't really noticed, but there's another steal. They've just done, turned up the pressure. Now Davis takes it full court, missed the layup, but it was to Clover Park, and that's Dwayne Crawford with the basketball, and he takes it coast to coast. Now a near steal in the backcourt, but the save, and now it's Fami Una with the pass to Pat that's Ling. So. Now Rasan Stevens into the lane. Screen jerseys everywhere, trying to come up with steals. Andre Winston Jr. though with a beautiful spin move, and now Darius Waters looking to get out and run. He gets it over to Winston Jr. for the wide open three. The Darius Waters dishes it to Andre Winston Jr. Winston with the basketball this time down the floor. Andre Winston, though, will look to drive. Beautiful drive baseline. It's Andre Winston Jr. kicks it to Dozier for the three-pointer, and Dozier drills it. Gives Clover Park the one-point lead. Andre Winston Jr. now the other way with a fadeaway jumper and another great shot. Offense nearly Andre. stolen, but Link finds himself wide open. To him now out top to Isaac Winston who comes into the lane now, dishes it over to his brother, who's open for three, and he drills it. Inside, now the other way, Brooks dishes over to number 15 for the bank shot off the glass. That was Jake Bainton of Liberty. Jenkins looking to push it all the way himself. Nice move, but it didn't go, but it's tapped up and in nicely by number 32, John Barnes. And so back the other way comes Cunigan with the basketball. No fear, and he pulls up from the free throw line, nothing but net. So. Brooks now thinking about penetrating, but he thinks better of it. But beautiful pass underneath to Corey Hudson from Skyline. So great vision. Arabakia now with the basketball. Number three, Joey Reevely. He has it stolen by Aaron Bright, and Aaron Bright with the throw down with one hand. Hoyt, nice. Hoyt with it over to Aaron Bright, who puts up the three again. And I tell you what, Aaron Bright is an extremely good three-point shooter. And Smith now left open for three. Good looking shot. Good, and it's Bright and Riley again out in the fast break. This time, Bright will go behind the back with a beautiful pass. No good. Out yeah. on the break now, Reevely. Nice recognition to find Jenkins, who hangs in the air off the pass and hits. Basic coming back the other way. A five point game and flying through for the one handed Tomahawk slam that time is Corey Hudson. Threw it away, nice job by Hudson to regain control and he gets it over to Glenn Brooks, just in and out on his three point attempt. Now Bright the other way. Let's see who wants to take the three point shot. Brooks looks like he wants it, he does. He puts it up and it's good. And this game is all tied up now. Five seconds to go, Cunigan with the basketball looking for the game winner with one, he lays it up, it is good. 
at the buzzer, Ryan Cunigan lays it up and in, and the white squad comes away with the victory, 88 to 86.